Uh, from the documentary team, Frank's expecting us. Could you call, thanks? Sure, no problem. What is it, Jenny? It's the documentary team, sir. They're here for the interview. Ah, I see. Although those middle-class assholes have been trying a job in the real world, so now they've decided to piss around with a camera while wasting my time. Frank? I really do feel sorry for their parents. Who'd want a child messing around with a camera rather than achieving real goals? It makes me sick. I sure as hell would employ them. Frank, you're on the tunnel. Yeah, send them up. So, Frank, tell me a little bit about your, your company's aims. Well, Golden Gates have always strived to create great customer services for general clientele. And those participants, we offer them a way to escape their daily lives. Could you elaborate a little? It's simple, really. Um, sometimes people can't cope in the real world. And uh, with people with ailments, you understand. And what we do is we give them a push that they need to do what they feel is right. So you only work with sick people? Yeah, of course. Anything has to be illegal. <laughs> Imagine if I was to treat somebody who's confident in mind, confident in body, there'd be an outrage. Imagine the press I'd get. <laughs> you must you must receive requests from people who, who feel, you know, they've got nothing left. We do. And we can't help them. Those people have got to help themselves, unfortunately. Our service is completely health orientated. And if somebody is of bad health, and I don't mean a cold or a snivel, <laughs> boo hoo, um, we're more than happy to help them on the road to recovery. And another thing what we're trying to do here is offer flexible packages for mass suicide brings the price down a tree. Hey, if she is, Roxy, our own very own Jamie Oliver. Isn't that right, Roxy, tell him. Um, I haven't been paid for the last two months and my bills are behind. No worries, let me take care of that. There you go. Always look after little people. And through here. So, how many people do you have working for you? Well, in the office, we have hundreds doing paperwork, income and the like. But in the factories, we must have 20 to 30 people per unit because we get a lot of requests that need to be stamped through the system. You, you mentioned income, and I presume this is income for the company. Um, so, you're charging people money for the service that you provide. Do you not feel somewhat guilty about it? Yes, we do charge patients, and no, I don't feel guilty at all. Um, I mean, in, in this economy, companies have got to try and find money where they can. And if that means I have to charge a few just to be cured, then so be it. Look, I've got a family with mouths to feed. I'm not going to let them get hungry. I mean, you have to understand that. So, if you don't mind me asking, how much do you earn? Let's just say the Ferrari in the house in Chelsea isn't going to pay for itself. I, I understand the implications of not charging, but it just feels like your whole company is, is run on blood money, so to speak. Well, oh, come on, grow up. How else am I going to run a company based on the best interest of people? And besides, for hours, two years old. This week you've been in here Box. taking something and not putting anything in the fucking wages. pot. Hey, no, do swear, camera. Oh, you what? Pocket. Cheapskate. Spend all your time up there making thousands of pounds. We work down here working our asses off. You still put nothing in the fucking pot. Your job's not swear box. Love it. Camera. Oi! Shit it! Come back! Fuck nugget prick! Bollocks! Stop fucking laughing at me! So you guys all set? Go and have a look at the press room, full of boring company stuff. But uh, you guys, journalists, get hold of it. We sell suicide to the unhealthy people of this land. You'd make complete havoc. Hey, here he is, here he is. Derek, employee of the month. <laughs> Three times out of the last four, Derek. Documented crew. Hi. Yeah, yeah, Frank, ask me to speak Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah. Guys, need five seconds, boring company stuff. Pop in here, 
Jeez, five seconds of losing in a second. Jeez. Seems this up. Jeez. Invoice for money paid to suicide hotline. Hey, guys, what are you looking at there? Ooh, some old, boring, and interesting paperwork. Needs to be recycled. Go green, save the whale, the dolphin. No children in Africa, rhinoceroses, elephants. Lions and tigers and bears, go green, save the world. Endless possibilities, I say. Obviously, this line of work is quite stressful. How, how do you keep morale so high? Well, whenever we process a successful candidate, we have a little mini get-together. Uh, obviously, the patients don't know. Fun. Morale. Dave. Uh, fight me. Leave it now. Carry on. Can can these incidents become a little awkward? We bandy the word incident around as if it's a, a bad thing what we do here to try and help morale. I mean, would you like to work here doing the job that we do? Well, that a little bit of fun. But you seem to group your job in with the jobs of, of the smaller people in your company, the, the ones, the employees who do the dirty work, what you do is, is completely different. No, no on the contrary. I, I just, I take them souls back for me to rest. I mean, I used to have nightmares about this job, and then I learned to live with the fact that these people wanted to die and that we, or I, helped them. I mean, don't ever contradict me and say that I don't understand, because I do. Not a lot of people know that. I, I think it's time for us to leave. Um, thank you very much for your thank time, you. Frank. Thank you, guys. So, check some emails. Some messages then. This is a completely anonymous interview. Please tell me what you know. Uh, well, when I started at the suicide hotline, um, I got a request from Golden Gates. Uh, it was a request telling me to defer people towards their company instead of us helping them ourselves. But, but surely that's illegal. Uh, the people that come to you for help um, primarily do not, don't have any illnesses. Yeah, um, that's why I said no. Um, they were all right with my rejection, but um, they said that if I went to the police, then they would know and they would come after me. Um, they were quite sort of persuasive about it all. Did, did they ask anyone else in your company? Um, pretty much everyone in our organisation knows about it. Right, okay. Thank you very much for the interview. I will strive to bring this company to justice. Um, please promise me that this is all private and confidential. Absolutely. Really need to speak to Frank. Um, fortunately, Frank has been rather busy today. Uh, he doesn't want to be disturbed. Hey. You guys. Frank. How's things going? Look. Frank Gregory Holworth, last willing testament and the son of Gary and Deborah, husband to Matt, father <laughs> to many. I don't want to go to jail. These are it's going to take one look at me and they're going to make beat some London gangsters bits for the rest of my life. And why? 
because I helped a few people. <laughs> people that wanted helping. Yeah, I made a lot of money. <laughs> the critics they hate that idea. But, and me for that matter. <laughs> but the candidates say we're happy. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry for the pain, of course. This is Frank Holwood. Sorry off for the last time. Frank, you ready to go? <sighs> yeah. Introducing Frank Holwood. C-E-O. C-E-O. It's in the game. CEO. I'm CEO. Yeah, I'm CEO. I am CEO. I am CEO. Ooh, I am CEO. I am CEO. I am CEO.